Hey guys, it's Travis. Uh, I know this isn't my best video. It's not going to be my best video because I'm kind of on a crunch to make this. Um, but this week's topic is uh, pressures to transition and start tea and um, everything else like that. Um, my personal opinions on that are kind of I don't know, I'd go both ways. I think there's external pressures from peers and other trans guys and <coughs> just society as a whole, but I also think that us ourselves put on, put a lot of pressure onto ourselves um, through, be it jealousy, converting into pressures and wants and um, stuff like that, but um, so I'll kind of touch on both. Um, I think there's a lot more external pressures than there are, there are internal pressures, but like I said, internal pressures, I've experienced both. I've experienced pressure from those people around me, and I've also experienced kind of pressure stimulated by doubt and jealousy and everything else that I've put upon myself. Um, I did, if many of you don't know, um, I was taking tea under the table for about four months before I actually went to a doctor and saw it. That action actually came as a result of the pressures around me to transition. I was a part of a drag group and there were a couple guys in there that were trans and they had already started tea and this and that and they kept on me about hey you know you should you should go you should start you should do this you should do that you know one thing after the other you know that whole peer pressure just kind of builds up and eventually you kind of end up giving into it or you hold your own well at that point in time I was not very self confident I guess you can say and kind of wanted to be with the in crowd so I kind of gave into that and I was taking it under the table which I do not recommend to anybody um, but I think at the same time a lot of that was driven by my personal pressure onto myself because you know it's what I wanted and I was jealous of everybody else and I just wanted to fit in and so through my self-doubt and my lack of self-confidence I kind of pressured myself into giving into the peer pressure if that makes any sense. Um, it may not happen with all guys, everyone's different so some people may not experience what I experienced as far as internal pressures, they may only experience external, external pressures. And I've seen a lot of this through groups, through blogs, through people that I've talked to, you know, and like I've just said previously through what I've experienced, you know, external pressures exist everywhere. They exist from other trans guys, they exist from your friends, your family, um, society as a whole, and it's not just pressures to transition, it's pressures to not transition as well. Um, and so if you're depending on how your family is and depending on how your friends are, they're either going to be supportive of you or they're going to be not supportive of you. And a lot of this lack of support can actually turn into pressures for you to hold off or for you to, you know, think things through or go and talk to your pastor or go and spend more time in therapy, you know, and they're just pushing you down a route that you don't want to go versus down the route that you do want to go. Um, I don't even know, I mean, I experienced a little bit of that, but I didn't really let it halt me. I just kind of kept the fact that I was transitioning hidden from my mom for about a year. I didn't say anything to her because she is just not an open-minded type person. Um, so, but I don't know. I think the I think the worst of the the pressures come from other trans guys. Um, I don't know that everyone does it intentionally. I'm pretty sure I'm guilty of 
you know, in unintentionally pressuring somebody into starting to or doing this or doing that. You know, we're all human. It, it's bound to happen. And the unintentional pressures are not as bad as the people who are blatantly saying, oh, you need to start tea, you need to do this, you need to do that. You know, you're transgendered, you're trans, you know, sexual, you're this, you're that, you're blah, 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 blah. Um, some people don't want to hear it. <laughs> some of us can see that, hey, you're going to end up being a trans man, or you're going to end up living this alternate lifestyle, but until that person wants to see it, you cannot push that onto them. And I think some people are guilty of trying to push the lifestyle on somebody who's not fully ready to grasp it, and who's not fully ready to accept who they are, and thus they get pushed into trying to fit in or trying to fit this mold, and so they start down a path that may very well not be their path. Um, <clears throat> I know of a couple guys who started T, been on T for a couple years, stopped T because they finally realized, hey, this isn't really what I've wanted, you know, stop T for a couple years and then, hey, end up back on T. I think, personally, me, I think a lot of that results from pressures around them and <clears throat> whatnot like that. So, I mean, I really think it's a shame that um, you see a lot of other guys on T pressuring those around them. Um, and it's hard, especially for the guys who are new to tea or haven't started tea yet or younger because if you're similar to how I was, I didn't have a whole lot of self-confidence. So I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted, you know, <clears throat> to fit in this mold and be in this crowd and be part of this thing that everyone else was a part of. And so I ended up getting pushed and allowing myself to be pushed into it through the wrong channels rather than taking things my way and <clears throat> doing it the way I wanted to do. It actually took me about four months of t shots under the table to sit down and really realize that, hey, this is not how I want to do this. I need to stop. I need to go and see a therapist. I need to talk about this first, and then I need to go down the proper channels. So I think... Um, like I said, I think the pressure's all around us, and it's really a shame, but the people who can really change are the ones who are doing it intentionally. I think, I think we all as a whole, as a community as a whole, need to <coughs> kind of step up and ad advocate for those who are being pressured, even if it's somebody you don't know, you don't know this person that's doing this or whatnot like that. I mean, granted, yeah, we can't stop all the pressuring, but if we see it on Facebook, we sure can step in and be like, hey, you need to back off. Let this guy do it at his own pace. Let him do what he wants to do. Or let this person do what they want to do. You know, it's the same thing. I mean, pressure within the trans community is similar to the pressures in any other community out there. Somebody always has to stop, step up to help protect that weaker individual from being pressured into doing something they don't want to do. You know, not everybody out there is full of confidence and is is able to, you know, stand on their own two feet. I mean, you see the same pressures in drugs, you see the same pressures in sex, you see the same pressures anywhere you go, there's going to be pressures, but, you know, Sometimes there's somebody to step up and speak up and help out that person who isn't exactly sure what they're supposed to do, and sometimes there's not. And like I said, you know, we can't be everywhere. It's true, you know, but what we can do is if we see it, if you see it out with your friends, if you hear it, and it doesn't have to be, you know, trans-related, it can be anything. If you hear anybody trying to pressure somebody into doing something that they're not 100% comfortable or 100% ready to do, just step up and say, hey, you need to back off. I do it all the time. I mean, it may not be public. You guys may not see it in the Kickstart group, or if you're not on my friends list, you may, you know, may not see it, but I've stepped up before. I've stepped up when I've seen guys 
pressuring others to transition, not pressuring others to, you know, do drugs, to drink, to have sex, to do this, you know, this and that. I, I try to do my little part, and like I said, I'm not, you know, an angel, I'm not a saint, so I'm pretty sure that I may be more than likely guilty of unintentionally pressuring somebody else. And I try to be good about that when I'm around other guys who are pre-op or who have not started hormones. Um, I try not to push the fact that, or want, I guess is the better word, the fact that, hey, you know, I've had chest surgery, hey, you know, I've done this, or I'm on T, I've been on T this long, blah, 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 blah. You know, I try to do my best to not do what others did to me when I started out. I remember how I felt, and I remember how I wish things had gone. And yes, I'm very happy and I'm very proud of the fact that I was able to have chest surgery. But, for example, I went swimming the other weekend with two trans guys who have not had top surgery. And, of course, you know, they had their binders and their shirts on. And so I respectfully just swam with a muscle tee on um, to try and, you know, just be respectful of the situation that they're in. I know I'm one of the fortunate ones, not everybody else. Everybody can afford to have chest surgery right now. So if I don't know you that well and I don't know what your level of self-esteem is, I'm always going to try and do the more respectful thing in my eyes. And if that means wearing a t-shirt when I'm swimming, then I'll wear a t-shirt when I'm swimming. It's, it's really not a big deal to me. I'm not trying to show off my chest. I'm not trying to, you know make somebody else be like, oh man, I wish, you know, I wish I could have chest surgery, I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that, because that's where a lot of the pressure starts, and that's sometimes that I wish is a result of unintentional pressures, which may not exactly be given off by you, but it may be an unintentional thing by you, which that person turns around and puts pressure onto themselves to try and speed up their process. Um if that kind of makes sense. It makes sense in my head. Um, but I think that's about all that I got because I got to kind of get off to work. Um, I apologize for the crappiness of this video, um, but if you guys have any questions, comments, um, again, these are just my opinions. You do not have to agree with them. If you choose to disagree with them, that's perfectly fine, but not try and push my beliefs off on anybody. This is just how I feel and take it or leave it for what it is. Alright, have a good week guys. See you next week.